Hey everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome to the Dear God. It's a indie action platformer. Uh, like I said, really haven't heard a whole lot about it prior to this, and I don't know. Feel felt like I'd give it a shot, and asked asked for a copy. They were kind enough to give it to me. Hello. I don't think either of these guys are the Dear God. Not in this weather. Yeah, I've had enough. Going to bed. You staying up? Gonna watch the fire a little while. See you in a bit. I have a shot at this one. Steady. This might be my only chance. If you do not redeem yourself, there will be far greater consequences. The Elders will be watching you. Oh, okay. Guess I'm the... Oh, shoot. Uh... Hello, little one. You were just born. You look a little shaky. Let me help you. Press down to eat food and, and interact with characters. Oh, what? There we go. Okay, I think this game cuts out audio-wise when you quit. It's in 3D, sort of. It's like faux 3D, faux 2D. Well, that's... That's cool, though. I like that. It's not what I was expecting, but... It works. So, we've got, you know, run, jump, that kind of business. Can I... Oh, there we go. So I can actually talk to all of these guys. Hello there. At long last, you are the transhuman. The prophecy must be true. I am the Elder of Agility, and instructed to, by my brethren to endow upon you... It's, is it gonna... Oh, there we go. I have to press down to continue. I guess that makes sense. I was just expecting it would be A. The skill of double jump. You will now be able to make higher jumps. I also must explain to you about the ancient race of... Surday, they left us the ten statues, which hold the essence of the only powers of the Deer God. Only the elders remain here now to protect their hidden locations in the world. These powers can be earned and harnessed by solving the riddle of each statue. For now, you must leave me be so that I can meditate. All right. So now I got double jump, and might as well come over here and actually talk to this one too. Okay. Cannot talk to uh, this deer for whatever reason. Also, I think I'm starving. Can, how, how do how do I munchies and crunchies? It said down to down to eat. Oh. Okay, so there's like apples and stuff. I thought I'd be able to graze, but nope. Looks like I gotta actually eat like fruits and stuff on top of trees. Otherwise, I guess there's a starvation system in this game. Well, let's just munch everything. I don't know. It feels like I'm playing, uh, what's it called? Oh, shoot! Hello! Okay, so I can kill, I can kill the forest creatures in this game. And apparently it messes with my, messes with my, I don't even know how this works. But that's okay, so, oh, for a second I was laying down and I was like, is something else gonna happen? No, it looks like this is kind of just a constant search for food, and Brutally murdering certain things every once in a while. Not bunnies, though. Bunnies are nice things. Oh, oh shoot. There's like a fox and stuff. Everything is trying to kill me. This is weird and concerning. That said, I definitely stig the... Uh, stig. I definitely dig the visual style of this game. It's... It's like... It's two, two and a half dimension, I guess. Did we grow up a little bit? I think we did. Because we just got a little bit bigger there. Makes sense. Just very, very confused, but that's kind of the point of everything here. Let's just eat some apples, too. Hello. This must be one of those riddle, riddle statues. Is there a way for me to interact with it? Oh, what? Uh, 
Well, that's a lot more complicated than I was expecting. Can I... No, I don't think I can do anything with this statue. Well, that's unfortunate. But not terribly surprising. Let's just... Biff this fox to death. Oh, okay. Can I do anything here? No? Well, let's just murder this thing. Oh, wait. That's a nice creature. Not an evil creature. Okay, less less on the murder side of things. Let's, let's not murder those. I, again, not sure... Okay. Where is this? Oh, interesting. So... There's, like, deviancy, and you can actually, like, have a dark or a light tendency. So the more enemies I kill, the e more evil I become? I guess that's how it works. Can I talk to this? What? What's, what's this doing? Okay. Oh, does this restore my health? Or... I... Honestly, don't understand what just happened there. This doesn't surprise me much. I don't understand a whole lot of things. Especially about, I don't know, new indie games. Come on, porcupine. Okay, so does killing that increase my darkness or light? I have no idea. It's definitely something I'm going to have to mess around with more. Because it seems like it's going to have some interesting effects as we go along. I, I did not expect that much of a morality system. What's that do? I have no idea. Uh... Shit's on fire! Oh god! Don't walk through fire! Jump over fire! Oh crap, that, that almost killed me. At the very least, it looks like our health comes back automatically. So that is... That is a serious, uh... I don't know, benefit to all of this? Let's see. And looks like hunger is not actually that big of a deal, and or it just hands you practically all that you ever need. I'm not sure if I should kill porcupines. They do do damage to me. And I think it fills, fills up my, like, dear god gauge. And it doesn't look like it adjusts my deviancy too much. Yeah, so these are just, like, weird decoration things. Either way, uh, visual style is pretty cool. I actually really have to give the, this game props for its, uh, audio design. Oh, was I stuck on something? No, it doesn't look like it. Either way, let's grab a couple of apples and keep going on our way. No murdering stoats, either. I don't even know if they are stoats. Oh, shoot. Yeah, do not fall down there. I don't even know what would happen. Is that a rhino? It's a goddamn rhino. Well, I am justice deer. I kill rhinos, apparently. And it seems to be working. It's like it's kind of like uh, playing Joust, except for a lot easier. Yeah, that fills up our deer god gauge. Whatever that's gonna do. Holy shit. Ow. Ow. These guys are violent. I, okay, this is the part where I run. This is the part where I run very fast. This is the part where I probably get my ass handed to me. There we go. Well, uh, this is the deer god. What? One life left? Well, that's concerning. Where do I respawn? I guess over here. Okay, so note to self. If uh, you get your ass handed to you by... Oh. There are like grasses and stuff I can eat too. But I've since lost my Deer God gauge, which is unfortunate. Kind of needed that. Maybe? Really? It's not very obvious. Either way, though. Let's, let's just keep going. Yeah. So, fire burns. There's. I was expecting more of an explanation as to why those trees were on fire. Not so much so. It's weird. Well, I'm just going to eat everything along the way. And, oh, it looks like eating does, in fact, boost our Deer God gauge. Just not nearly as much as, you know, murdering things along the way. That's unfortunate. Alright, well. Oh, no. Butting up against bushes does stuff. Huh. So I guess destroying certain things increases our Deer God gauge? Or it's time-based? I have no idea. Either way, let's let's just you know, let's just keep going. I was expecting a little bit more directionality to this. I guess it's just like go left or right, and I was expecting something a little bit more I don't know, Metro Metroidvania y, where it's like you can vary your path, but it, it looks like this is mostly just oh shoot. That stag is just messing my shit up. Oh Ow. Ow, what happens if we die again? 
I said one life left. That was our last life? Oh, shoot, that just kicks us back to the beginning. What happens... Is that really the end? Wow, that is. Well, that's... That's really disappointing, honestly. I was expecting something a little bit more... I don't know. What's our tendency? Our tendency resets. So, yeah. Weird. Alright, well, whatever. Give me double jump. Kind of need that one. And we are back to being a tiny little deerling. So, there's... There's an element of progress in this game that I don't entirely get yet. I'm sure I'll get along the way, but I was expecting something a little bit more robust. But as it stands, it actually seems like this is going the way of the like old-style platformers. Oh, no fox. Old-style platformers where you die, you start over from the beginning, so one life. Or, like, two-ish, but still. That's... Probably going to be a problem for this, but then again, that does give us a pretty concrete, you know, start-stop point. And apparently if you just eat everything, you do get Deer God points. Fairly successfully. Just got to make sure I don't go over him. Okay. So now, now I've got... Wait, kind. Yeah, so now I've got, like, pure light tendency and very little on the... Oh, uh, it's rival stag. Oh, wait, he's not attacking me. Okay, I'll leave you alone. Now he's following me around, and I feel kind of bad for, like, just headbutting him repeatedly. Well, let's just, uh, go this way. I'm sorry. Oh! Okay. Did it die or run away? Oh, yeah, it ran over there. Well, either way, kill the fox for me. And our dear god mater is filling up for whatever good that's going to do us. You going to help, help me this time? I'm not going to murder you like I did the last ones. Fox, though. Going to murder that fox. Yeah... I really don't understand how the, like, morality meter works in this game. Also, it looks like the level's randomly generated. Because I don't recognize any of these landmarks, which is kind of cool. Because, yeah, I also was not followed around by this sheer number of deer. Okay, that's got some interesting aspects to it, then. Because that makes this almost roguelike in a way. Where, if you can... Did I... Okay, I didn't kill the bunny by stamp stomping on it. I'm a little bit worried about that. But yeah, you can actually like go through this multiple times and potentially get a different path every time. Still concerned. But that that said, let's get some of our stamina back. Go over these foxes. Back to murder. Me. Back to murder. There we go. Yeah, it fills up our deer god meter. Just gotta watch my stamina, otherwise I'm gonna get my ass handed to me. But... Uh, that's a big old wolf thing. Let's see if I can get some more foxes to respawn so I don't have to, you know, just immediately fight a wolf. Because that's kind of what killed me before, when I was, you know, a man thing. Hey, apples at the very least. Okay, it does look like some amount of stuff recovers, which honestly is a little bit disappointing. I was kind of hoping that it wouldn't, so this game would have, like, linear progression. Because this, this means there's going to be a level of, like, grind to this game, trying to max out your dear god meter before a certain point of time where you know then like this way at the very least they'll be able to handle a lot of challenges but backtracking is just slow oh hey can I bust this tree up nope I can just wiggle the screen well let's grab the rest of this I'm almost up also looks like this well there's a time element of like me playing this but there's also seems to be a time element of like a world clock which has some interesting questions that could... I don't know. I don't know exactly know how that's going to turn out. Could mean, like, we hit winter and just immediately freeze to death, which is terrifying, but I don't know. Could be fun, too. All right, we've uh, bucked up, and I don't know. This probably gives us... This probably gives us a stat boost. Oh, we've got items. We've got witch hazel and turtle egg. A spawned turtle... Uh, what? Well, let's assign them. I don't know how to use them, but... Okay, so there's that. But now I can no longer... Oh, there we go. So if I have the item selected, I can't... I can't headbutt things. That seems like poor design to me. Either way, let's go uh, beat up that wolf. Especially because I've got a deer following me around. It's nice to have backup, you know? Very... 
Wait. Okay, yeah, it was, like, just over here. I'm just gonna grab all the food I can. Uh, oh, <laughs> I got stuck on a tree. I was wondering. It's like, wait, where'd that wolf go? Oh, shoot, it's a winter fox, and it looks like my dear friend just murdered himself on the spikes. I'm sorry? Sorry for leading you to your death, but, like, you didn't have to go down there. You probably would have been okay if you just, you know, turned around instead of, you know, just immediately. Alright. Oh, he doesn't come back. Oh! Shoot! Those... Those bust up! Well, that's... Concerning. Oh! I'm getting attacked by a goddamn owl! What is this business? What is this? I don't like it. I don't like it. Let's just... Beat up this deer man. And then get up here, actually. Oh, shit. He comes down. Well, uh... Oh, crap. Okay, note to self. Stags? If you're not adequately... Wow, that, that was my last... That was my only life. Stags will fuck you up. Stags will fuck you up hard. That's really surprising. Alright, I think I'm gonna do one more run and then probably give up for the night just because I am not deer godding it properly. Alright. Don't think we're gonna find... Skip the cutscenes. I I kind of wish that this game would actually not have cutscenes. Like, if you've already seen the cutscene once, there's no real good reason to do it twice. Alright, so let's get double jump again. I, I think that's part of the problem. If, if with a game with uh, such a high amount of death, considering I've died, what, like four or five times now? And I assume falling into those spikes would also mean my death. And I, like, I'm inclined to test it out, but it doesn't seem like a good idea. But with a game with such a high quantity of death contained in it, uh, or, like, such a high possibility of death, what you want to do is get your players back in as fast as possible, making them sit through the same cutscenes and the same, like, oh, by the way, here's how you get double jump. Having them sit through that is no good. It's, it's slow and annoying. That said, hopefully they fix it. Oh, can I bust this up? Oh, I can push it. Well, that's different. Haven't run into uh, block puzzles yet. Unless, death is actually like a pseudo-permanent, like a, actually, like if, if the whole death mechanics are actually specifically part of the game to force the player to kind of progress through things. Because now we're getting items, which we weren't really getting before. At least, not as far as I was aware. And the levels are different, so... This might actually be kind of like a forced learning situation instead of instead of doing things proper? Well, not properly, instead of doing things like all in one go, which actually makes a fair amount of sense to me. It's just, I don't know, surprising. Hey, more items that I, okay, that I can pick up. Let's see what they do. So we get, we get, yeah, we're getting a lot of items now. Defy gravity for a short period of time? Coffee bean, increase your sh speed for a short period of time? And enemies avoid area where the cabbage is dropped. Oh, and apparently we've used that, which causes the rat to run away. Weird. Right? Oh. Okay, that, w that was actually a different item I used. It was the one in my first slot. By the way, what the crap is this thing? I don't, I don't even know. Either way, it, it makes sense. Like, all of this actually makes a fair amount of sense. I'm just really curious where it's going to go, because if it's just repeatedly going this direction until I can finally make it... I like the water in this game. That's cool. But yeah, if it's just repeatedly doing this over and over until I somehow get better at survival, then this game's going to need a little bit more depth of mechanics as far as, like, fighting goes. <laughs> I, I, oh, shoot. Is that bird going to fight me? Nope, that bird is not going to fight me. That's good. But... I, I don't know. The, the deer god has potential. It almost feels like a roguelike, which is confusing to me, because that's not what I expected from this game. Not in the slightest. It's just kind of like, you are deer now, go do deer things. Except for, I'm really not. I'm just like murdering half of the forest? Oh hey, there's a cow. What's up? C can I can I do anything with the cow? This cow is partly injured. I'm slightly curious what would happen if I tried murdering the cow. I the feeling I get some level of experience. It wouldn't be the greatest. Now, oh right, I can hang out and do something with this deer. It gets a heart up. But I have no idea what this actually does. It just kind of... 
does a glowy. And I hear a heartbeat in the background. That's about it. So unless that means that I'm breeding, then I have no clue. Oh, I have a little... I have a fawn following me around. Okay, so apparently I made babies. This was not intentional. And very confusing. Hello. I don't know what that thing is, but uh, yeah, we got a fawn following us around. For better or worse. And we got snakes. Oh, snakes and pigs and things. Oh, they killed my they killed my fawn. My fawn did, wait, no. Am I the fawn? Have I devolved? Uh I'm gonna go over him for just a little bit. Yeah, let's escape. Oh god, he's messing my day up. Oh yeah, we're dead. Huh. 